Okay, folks, this is kind of late. I just thought of this, but this is something that we never ever think about, and that's our dirty, dirty, disgusting fans. You use them every day, but you never really look at them, and they get really grungy in the grid. So today I said, enough. We keep getting this air blown on us, and with all of this crud that's blowing into our faces. So today, I turned it around, and I unscrewed it, and I want to be really careful because these screws are coming out, and I don't want to... So you just unscrew it, you need a long screwdriver, okay? You can't unscrew this, I mean, I wouldn't touch it, you probably can, but I wouldn't. And then what you want to do is you want to take this top off, and because there's no mechanics to it, you can take your hose and one of these handy little dandy things, put it on jet, and voila, it'll clean it off really, really well. So then you set that off out to dry in the sun, and then use a brush. Sometimes a big brush is good, sometimes a little brush is better to get into the little areas. So you just brush all the dust away. Because it's just dry, it'll just come off really easily. So the blades, you do want to make sure you have some type of cloth. I just happen to have the sponge here with me. I'm just kind of doing this on the fly. So you just clean this off. A more grunginess. And then you just want to make sure you can go in there. You can get a smaller brush, like I said, and go in there or just dig it in there. Of course, it's not a brush that you're going to use for painting anymore. Not that I ever did, but just so you know. <laughs> the trick will be putting this baby back together again. So over here, I've already done this. You can push it in. The other thing you can use is a vacuum cleaner as you're brushing. If you're inside, you can use a vacuum cleaner at the same time with a narrow nozzle and suck up all the stuff. But because I'm outside, I don't really care. And then here, in between, what I was doing is, this was all dusty, so I was just going back and forth like this. And then sticking it in there, and sticking it in there, and sticking it in there, and just going back and forth. As you can see, like I said, I had already done this, and I just thought about doing this. So this is something that they don't teach you in high school. Why? Because it's not something that anybody would care to learn if they don't want to clean this. But if you're like me and you start thinking about all the things that are gross and disgusting around the house and you think to yourself, all right, this is my health. I don't want to be breathing gross stuff. And I think that if you just kind of like do this maybe once a year, it will take care of your products, your products will take care of you, and things will last longer. Okay, so that's Lolly Adulting 101. Yay.